I thought you said you didn't love Jinx. I don't. You were just singing about how much you love Jinx. No, oh, no, that's just a song, man. You are reading way too much into the lyrics. Uh-huh. I am watching you, cyborg. I am watching... Ah! That is not the bear hug. Uh, I guess it's time to bring out the big guns. Flowers. She has really bad allergies. Oh! Great, she's going to get away. No, she's not going to get away. Yeah, she got away. Titans, we are here today to discuss Cyborg's crush on Jinx. Starfire, if you would. Ahem. Chapter 4, Article 7 of the Official Superhero Charter of Conduct states, No superhero shall take romantic interest in a villain. It does not say that. Anymore. Does this mean we're... I'd like that. If any of the other Titans found out. If any of the Hive found out. Then we'll just have to keep it a secret. These last few days have been amazing. I know, Sai. I just don't know how much longer we can keep this up. Not much longer at all. So it's true. You're dating. Cyborg, you are hereby forbidden from ever seeing Jinx again. That goes for you too, Jinx. Whatever this is, it's over. Don't tell me you're still hung up on that robot. Of course not. He's my enemy. My big, fun, adorable enemy. <laughs> Please, Jinx, no. Ernest's emotions are, are making everyone uncomfortable. But I like him so much, and I'll, I'll never see him again. <laughs> That's not true. You can see him again. <laughs> really? When we're trying to kill the Titans. <laughs> Weak little real boy. Just like you. Sorry, babe. Put some ice on that. Now that's what I call a real boy adventure! 